So honestly, as a jungler, you have to identify like four things a bit, which is like in general, think about what's your win condition. So how do you know what your win condition is? Usually that's the lane. If he gets ahead, he can usually 1v9. So imagine my Ezra Braum gets ahead against like Nafiri, Nautilus, Geist, and Camille for melee champions, right? And Braum can even block the Lilia sleep. They will 1v9, right? Usually, I hope. So essentially, um, you want to path towards that lane and make sure they're at least doing good. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, huh? Oh, it's Ezra mid lane. Oops. I don't know that. Anyway, I'm still pathing bot side. So, um, key thing right here. The next thing would be understanding what enemy drone wants to do. What do you think enemy drone wants to do? I mean, honestly, he can decide to go bot or top, so I can't really know. Uh, but I'm not so sure. Then I think what I want to do, well, I want to play bot side. And I'm just currently thinking what Lydia can do, right? He could invade me. He could do raptors into my Grom. Which is why I ward this bush right here to see him. So I don't get invaded. So if you play like weak champion like Zac level 1 slash 2, you could get invaded. So just to take precautions, I put a ward there. So in general, if you walk from camp to camp, look at bot lane wave. Look at mid lane wave. Pretty simple, right? Nothing too complicated. And when you're very close to finishing your third camp, you should think that he finishes third camp as well. So usually that means he can look for a gank. So try to like look what he can do. You see bot lane wave, technically. And you see Nafiri, he was missing a bit, right? So he warded my bot side here. So essentially, I know he warded my bot side, so the moment I jump over here, he sees me. So that also means that if Lilia goes for bot lane gank now, he knows I'm not there, okay? So I'm pinging here my bot lane to be careful, because they might get ganked. Because if you look at the wave state, the way they're playing, they could maybe get hooked, and they could maybe die, right? So you have to ping your laners to be mindful, because if you don't do that, and they play aggressive, they will die, by the way, just, just, just saying. And sometimes, even if you ping, they might still die, but at least if you ping, there's a chance they won't play aggressive. Lilia's top lane. Okay, so Lilia flashed there, so... 7 drum. 7 drum on. So, okay, because Lilia went top lane, I'm now actually ahead in tempo. And now pay attention to the bowling wave. Because now I'm just looking, can I get something? Um, it might be not that easy to get something. But... I think when bowling takes a good trade, I could maybe look. So here, if he keeps chasing, I'm gonna wait for his hook. So now you see the wave, it's like kinda dog shit. So like one tip or trick that you can do, right? That you can kinda drag the wave here. Not sure if I can drag everything fully, but like... Oh, almost. Okay, I mean, if I actually went a bit early, I could have dragged more of the wave. That would have been better, but it's still, like, fine. You know what I mean? It's like, at least... Because I don't think I would be able in time to push that wave. But uh, I'm going Leandris, and I'm going for um, an HP item, and I'm going to go into top side here. But ideally, I should have dragged the whole wave if possible. Okay, so here's the key thing, right? Pay attention. See, this wave is, like, kind of shit, and I know for a fact Lilia is going bot side. So, considering the Jinx my main condition, instead of going top side here... I'm making sure I go bot side. Because I know Lydia is bot side. Okay, he's not top bot side. He's stay top lane. Jokes. So maybe I can actually invade his um, camps. Which I plan to do so. Okay, my Jinx taking very bad trades. Okay, this is thing is like pretty crucial here. Okay, pay attention, okay? Think from enemy bowling perspective. They see my Jinx super low. So what do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna try to hook in on the first try. And the wave is bouncing here. So he might have wired his bush. And because I know he's gonna hook in. Oh my god, I kinda cringed that. Okay, I think I could have killed him there, but I kinda misplayed that. Okay, I'm kinda just farming here now. No flash in that guy. I should have told about our summoners. But essentially, if I actually told about summoners and I but why did I know they play aggressive? Because like think from their perspective, right? They see my bowling super low, so the first thing they want to do is just hook in. Which is very normal. Okay, I mean, I think that enemy drone could be around, but... I'm gonna hover here. Here's the thing, right? Okay.
And the wave is at least decent, it's like not the worst. So I was gonna base here. And as I'm why am I basing here? Because you see my camps. My camps are actually kind of far away, right? And considering that my camps are kind of far away, it's just better to base. And then look to... Um... One second, I buy the AP item. Like what I'm doing is kind of trolling in general. Just a big tip for you guys, if you like lower elo. Please always search the item you're gonna buy from the shop. The moment you click your item, every single time you open the shop, it's gonna be there. It's something I didn't do, so it took me a bit long to like search my item. But that's something you should almost always do. When the game starts, already search your first item. So you can actually like open the shop and instantly buy the components. But yeah, anyway, right now uh, the crucial thing is basically drone tracking. So essentially when I'm farming here, right? Think about it. I'm not really doing anything. So what you have to do is just track and see what enemy team can do. Hmm, it's kind of low, yeah. I'm gonna try to help here, but... I think Lilia should be around here as well, but... So here you see these waves like bouncing. And here's the thing, my Atrus can like low-key hold the wave here. Okay, I did not expect him to fear you. Okay, I do have my passive. Okay, I'm kinda low HP here. Um, actually, am I basing here? I have a healing pot that I could use here. I should have used it earlier when I was fighting, but all good. Oh shit. Oh, it's 1 HP. Do I survive this? Oh my god, this guy should just zoomed over and killed me. That kind of sucks. Not sure if we can kill him. This guy's... Wait, my mid lane's like... 0 3. But anyway, right now I'm just gonna pet both sides. So you can see my top lane's kind of getting fisted, mid lane's getting kind of fisted, and... Bot lane is like low-key getting fisted, but it's okay. So, you might wonder now, how do you play with 3 losing lanes? Honestly, this is a good, very good question, right? So, even if you're 3 losing lanes, that you should never get like desperate, and still try to play like a human. So when I say like still try to play like a human, make sure that at least you like cover lanes that need help. I mean, okay, right now they should probably watch for themselves, but uh, not me for them. Like I'm just gonna hover. I mean, this should be fine. But yeah, like here's the thing, okay? Like right now, especially with behind, you should think what the enemy wants to play for. So think about it, right? Oh, okay, this guy's the enemy. I need my team to move in case he does so. So right now my top lane's already kind of doomed anyway. Of course, he could play topside, but I think very likely he's probably going for the grubs here, right? So considering that I know he's going for the grubs, um, I'm thinking, can I do something in bot lane? If yes, I'll do so. If no, I won't. And honestly, I should go bot side here. Because the moment he takes the grubbies, I should be ready to dive the bot lane. So I'm pinging here on the way. So of course, the mid lane is missing and he could move to me. So I cause like a fast play. He has to do this like really fast. The mid lane is still missing. Let me check if his wards here or not. Probably wards here. So, I mean, the mid lane is still missing, and the drone is probably gonna move here, right? Okay, Lilia stops side. Lilia stops side. So, like, we can actually make this play. Oh, there's a flash. That's good enough. Okay, now we just kind of. Bounce. Because like now they can base and look to move to us. So don't get too greedy. Like small victories and basically for tempo is like more important than like overstaying and greeting. So right now, for example, nice, they're basing. So I'll look for base here as well. So right now, okay. Um that's heal. Here's the thing, give the kill to your AD carry. Okay, there I wasn't too sure if I could give to him. But anyway, I'm just gonna look the base here. So even though there's like a wave here, just ignore it, just base. Cause like, I hope he doesn't get off, that's the only thing. Good 
But can he stay close to me? Okay, my Brom should have stayed close to me there, but I mean, that's not too shape. Oh, the rocket! Okay, close. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna go see the boots here, and I'm gonna look to buy Sunfire Cape. And right now, right, Lilia very likely took my top six camps. So, here's the thing, I'm in base, and my lanes are still losing, however, right, the crucial part that you still have to always do is, like, make sure that you're aware, like, what you can do, right? Just ping laners that they should be playing a bit safe, and wait for your arrival. So, I do think they're used some summoners. Could be wrong, but I think they use some summoners there. Okay, I'm gonna move here as well. I'm down to fight this. Okay, if someone's missing, obviously you should not be fighting. I think 3v3 we should be able to win this. That's good enough. Don't greet here. Take one kill, back off, because their mid lane is coming. So right now, I'm just gonna look to um, take the golems here. So even the Nautilus is dead, they have mid priority, and like I said, they can move to us. So don't greet. So, okay, this is actually very crucial. Pay attention how we're losing, okay? But in a losing state like this, I'm gonna ping my support to move mid lane. Why do I do this? Because then we can get mana advantage and look to regain some pressure back on the map. So this guy's probably is gonna complete the play thing. I'm gonna try to jump on him. I hit him or not? Dude, this shit is like so hard to see. Bro, these wolves are like... My, like my eyes, I, I don't know if I hit my Q or not, you know? It's kind of cringe. Yeah, I mean... I'd love to help him, but... But yeah, I mean, the Drake is just gone here, which I'm okay with. Okay, the Kais is a big shutdown. Okay, so right now he sees mid lane. Here's the thing, this Camille seems like a psychopath. He's pretty much eating in. So here's the thing, right? Um, general rules that you want to clear the top side before you play bot side. And why is that? Because let's say that I am... Um, having bot side. And let's say, oh no, let's say I'll take my bossy camps here, right? And I go for bowling gank, I might lose my topsy camps. This guy's probably dead. Pretty good. So here's the thing, Nafiri is dead, I don't think enemy support's here. So they shouldn't fight me. So that, that's the highest risk they could have taken, which is like fighting 3v2. If they were smart and their teammates died, they should have just cut the losses. But they didn't. Okay, here's the thing, right? Like, I legit need, like, how much gold? 200 gold for item? Okay, here's the thing. I could check this camp, right? But very likely it's probably gone. So considering very likely it's probably gone, I was gonna take my boss camps here and then I'll look for a base. But okay, here's the key thing, okay? Pay attention. I just got a lot, okay, here. And this legit where 90% of league players are in thing because now, even Changer, enemy has tempo. So what does it mean? If they make a top lane play, I will not be there. I'll be in base probably. So considering that play that I'm in base, so what do I plan to do here? I plan to put a pink ward here defensively to just see when they push mid into bot lane. My mindset has shifted from aggressive to defensive. So like right now I don't look for a play unless I'm very sure. So look, I have like so much gold spent, I don't want to fight here. As long as my bonnet can take the wave and base or play safe, I'm happy. So right now, I'm gonna sprint towards bot side. So why am I sprinting towards bot side? Because like, I need to identify which lane I can play through in order to win 3v3 and fight. So like usually, I hope they don't die here. Kill soon, that's fine, but...
Okay. Okay, so here's a crucial thing. We killed them, so it's pretty good. We should be able to take the bot tower here. I'm gonna have a pink here as well. Um, my mid lane seems to be getting fisted here, which is... Which is okay. Okay, I literally have 3 losing lanes, okay? Let's see if I can carry 3 losing lanes and die with ELO. And the rules of carrying losing lanes, like, when lane in general is like losing, you mostly play the cover, dives, cover slow push if you can, and wait till they're healthy. Um, so right now, Drake's up at 120, so... I do want to play for top lane tower. I saw Lilia literally just bot side here. Okay. So I mean, I'm okay giving bot lane tower here. So here's the, I'm just gonna hover mid lane here a bit. Okay, this is not so good. Fuck, this is not good. This is, um... Okay, this mistake is, like, really fucking bad. Like, I thought then they could have been 3 mid. <coughs> and honestly, even if it was only 2, why would I want to fight this Jinx and Camille with my Ezreal? I probably don't want that, you know? It's, like, not good. So that mistake cost me a lot of tempo and map pressure, and I gave shit into the fear, but that's life. So the thing that I wanna, really want to play with is, like, my bot lane, buddy. I don't want to play with my, my other players. So right now, I'm thinking whether I want to contest this Drake, because obviously it's the third Drake, but if you're not like strong enough to fight, you shouldn't fight, it makes sense. So I'm looking at item power spike right now, enemy has two items, with like one half. I do think we can fight, it's like we're actually not that weak, but we shouldn't really chase here too much. That's the thing I wasn't too big fan of, which is the chasing. It's okay. Right now, I would say we lost this amount of HP. I'm pretty sure the wards here. Oh, they're not on the Drake yet, by the way. I was waiting to rush on the Drake. And it's like really difficult for me to jump in, just so you guys know as well. I was gonna pop the Herald here as they're doing the Drake. What? Huh? Bro! What are you doing? I was peeling for my Jinx here. Nice. Banger. So like, I mean, I'll analyze the breakdown after, um, I mean, I'll analyze the team fight after the game to explain like just in general the thought process, but like, especially there, like, just know how the team fight as well is like very crucial. And I think a lot of people would play the team fight a bit differently, but I can explain my thought process after. But, but yeah, I mean, okay, we get mid tower here. Baron is up. They should probably back after this, you know, I'm very sure. Right, good job, you know. Okay, so essentially right now, right, like, I think there's a decent amount of summoners there as well. But anyway, right now we don't play for the Baron, so the lane assignment should be like, the guy Thalpor bot lane, Aatrox. The guy usually the carry should be mid lane and Ezreal side lane, right? So right now, this is the what and when concept, right? Which is that, what are we playing for? Baron, well, when? Honestly, I will not be using this wave. I will not be using the next wave. Because ideally right now, I want to clear all my camps before pressuring. However, I'm... Yeah, for example, right now, I'm like, look, at, look at me, okay? I'm basically taking my red buff, and I'm taking my raptors here. So am I on this mid lane wave or top lane wave? I'm not, right? So essentially, you want the ping laners to play safe, because I want to take my camps first before doing anything. They can take the wave here. So I'm down to go here. So now, okay, pay attention. I'm just taking my camps here. So now... I'm down. Okay, I mean, my Ezreal is going top lane here, right? So, like... So, here, do you, do you see how I'm, like, ping my laners to back off? Because I know I'm taking, like, a literally full clear. So, now, if they're walking up, I ping them back, back, back. Because imagine Lilia's there and they die. That sucks. So, now, I took all my camps and now I'll look for a fight. But, I'm down to look for a top lane fight here. Can you give me vision?
So as long as my laners don't die and they can wait for me, right? That would be always like very, very good. So now I've got my one item parts by kit. Pay attention as well. I mean, I was gonna ping him to be careful on bot because like I do think they can move towards bot side here. But now I've got my one item power spike, same thing. You have to think which wave are you contesting. I'm probably gonna contest this wave because I did my full clear. Okay. So I could take okay, Brom. Yeah, nice the basis. My Brom is the base for new wards. So like right now though, my ult's up in 30 seconds. Um I would say that I would like that my Atrix can take one more wave here. Why is this important? Because if he can take one more wave here on side lane and then he can look to group, we basically get man advantage. But here's the thing, because Baron is up. And if I go on him, like, I'll just. They could do Baron. But we have Atrix TP, so. Considering, like, slow, slow. Like, the thing is that it's, like, still 8k, right? This 8k, my teammates don't have to, like, turbo hurry. Like, even if they get the Baron, as long as we ace them, that's the most important thing. So look, we got 4 kills, basically 5 kills on bot, and even though they got Baron, like, the most important thing is that your teammates play slow, and if you kill them buddy, this Baron is not even that insane. Because now if you get mid tower here, and pay attention to Drake's in 1 minute. So, the crucial part here is to try to get man advantage, before the Drake, and how do you do that? You get that by like, basically pushing side lane. So now they should back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Back. Like, taking this tower buddy, in my opinion, is like, not actually that worth it. Because if they get chased down, and we don't get position, that decreases our chances of winning the objective fight. Because being first, being able to poke them, is like very important here. And here's the thing, I might have to group to them. Because look, look now, this is the problem. We're getting chased here, and because we're getting chased here, our base gets delayed, and now they get position. Which is like, in my opinion, not good. Right, so, so look at my... Okay, my lane is a fucking griefing, by the way. I mean, Kai'Sa could follow with ultimate. So now we can get the Drake here. So here's the crucial part, right? Lilia probably wants to try to steal this. It's a soul point. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, that's close. But 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 you can see clearly like dying mistakes, which is that they think taking this tower over basing is more worth. And look what happened. I already said they should not continue, but they didn't listen. But it could have ended up really really bad here. Okay. But now look, pay attention. Same sequence. Look, I'm basing here. I think what I want to play for, probably top tower. So when is that? Probably not on this mid wave, not on this top lane wave. So essentially, right now, right? Um, I would say that I'm playing on the next wave, right? Like this one probably, because I'm like green from item here as well. So right now, I'm fully aware which wave I want to pressure. So knowing that I probably want to pressure not even on this wave, probably next one, because my champ's like ultra dog shit to clear. I mean, it's not dog shit to clear, but like pretty slow. Um, I'll ping, like, like, look, I, I'll ping my Jinx, just take my red buff. I'll ping my Brom to not do this, because my Ezreal is top, my Atrix is far away. We should not be fighting here. And I'm fighting on my terms. When is that? And my laners have arrived. So here, for example, my laners are in Africa. I'm not going to walk in here, but because I see Nautilus, I can actually walk in here. Nice Jinx ult. A key thing here, I'm just hovering my mid lane. We have Atrix TP in case. So you can just take the wave. The moment it takes the wave, we go into top side here. So it, the moment of the mid lane wave, they can only chase top lane. So usually Ezra has to like play a bit safe here, but. So now if they're on top lane here and they show mid lane, we have man advantage. So this is a timer where you can look for a play here. And you give them. I think that guy should be dead, at the very least.
Honestly, here, I don't think I can help them. Like, leave your teammates to die. If you're not sure you can help them, just, just bounce. And as you can see, like, I, I had a bounce. So I'm just literally out of here. Like, don't die. That's, like, very crucial as well. If you want to carry three losing lanes, it's very essential you're not dying. And I think there, maybe I should have went for the theory instead of dancing with Camille. But anyway, all good. Maybe my team misplayed. I have no idea what happened there, but... Anyway, um, I've ultimate in 20 seconds, so I'm gonna go mid lane here, or top lane. I'll, I'm just gonna cancel their bases here. So pay attention, okay? I'm actually not even, like, playing to kill them here. I'm actually just playing to cancel their bases here. So why am I doing this? Just because we get nap control and tempo, which then allows us to get full control. So now, for example, right? Because, like, Lilia still needs the base, we can now get full control. And we'll have man advantage too, because we need the base very likely. So right now, I mean, I think no one could be here, so I'll just jump here. Yeah, let me take some. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna ping my teammates what I want from them. Oh. I have an ultimate, but I don't want to use my ultimate for this guy. Okay, so now Baron is up in 30 seconds, okay? Key thing, what do you do? You walk in the top side here, get control. Okay, I'm, I'm out here. Aatrox is... oh, what the fuck. Um. Okay. So right now, no, no, please, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Drake, please. No, no, stop, stop it. Stop it. Don't. She's kind of, kind of dark here. Bro, soul point. 30 seconds. Why, why Baden, why? Let me open my lights. <laughs> so here's the key thing. I want to go in the bush here. And the sweepers enjoyers. Key thing here, key thing here. They're probably gonna go Baron here. Think about it. Like, so I'm gonna move towards the Baron side here. Because I don't want them to get Baron for obvious reasons. And now, I legit think we can end the game, but eh? Or we can use the Baron too. I'm down for that too. <clears throat> Okay, so after we get the Baron here, okay, this is the crucial part. How to use Baron? Usually in dying people, people are really clueless, as you can see. So like, the best way to use Baron is to have like, to kill this fucking dog first. Like, he's actually a dog, like literally, so I'm not even flaming him. It's actually a dog. Let's kill this dog. Right, after we kill this dog, I plan to base here. And how do we want to play? We want to play for top lane here. So, how do you play for top lane? Essentially, the guy that's safest with teleport should be on mid lane. Also known as my Aatrox. For top, Aatrox mid. And that's in general the best lane assignment. So, why is this the best? Because let's say there's like a top lane fight, okay? My Aatrox can TP from mid lane to top lane. And if you go to top lane, you don't get flanked. If you're on mid lane, you can get flanked from left and right. It's not that nice. But if you go top lane, you don't get flanked. So now, you have to think which wave would you like to use. This wave right there, we fuck him up. So like, even if Lee is pushing bot lane here, it doesn't matter. Because we're much faster, especially with Baron. So like, right now, I'm gonna go top lane here. And now I'm just gonna ping. Careful. Why, is, why am I pinging him? Because like, essentially, if he doesn't die right now, and use numbers, we're taking this, we're taking this. So like, his job is just to not die. But look at Camille. He's pushing ball lane, but we have already have a wave on top lane, and if he doesn't respond very soon, I'm afraid that his base will explode. Mm. 
very more than Gucci here. My goal is just to peel my AD carry. Like, actually. Do we still win this? Okay, my Jinx literally good one shot. But we still win in the team fight. So this is literally me carrying three losing lanes as a Zek, by the way. Uh, push the wave, guys. Game is not over yet. And that's GG. And just saying, my top and mid and both were literally all losing. Especially my mid laner was like really still useless as fuck, but but yeah. But um, yep, I mean that was a 45 actually last fight, but but yeah, as you can see, you can carry three little weasels, even if like really really boosted. And um, yeah, okay, but no cap, right? No flame is dying. People are trying. Okay, I know you guys are trying, but I'm just explaining my thought process, you know. But like. Okay, I'm not even kidding. This game, I think it looked really doomed. I'll be very, very honest. It's like, look at the game state here. At, at some point, right? Okay, I, I literally have five kills out of the five kills. I literally have five, six out of six. I literally am playing 1v9. Like, actually 1v9. I literally have 1-3, 0-3, 0-4, and I'm in every single kill. Like, I actually literally carried three losing lanes. I mean, the three, drag the three dragons and six groups, yes. Did every single objective too. And from this, actually, I managed to win the game.